it's, they started off right. Si tu vieja te está negando, si tu viejo te está enfadando y tus amigos ya te están, están hartando, chingando. pon ese sonido mejor en 3, 2, 1. Hey, Toaster Live Podcast, baby. <laughs> Most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's go. Salucita de la buena. Para todos. Para todos. Tamarindo flavor energy this. drinks with Mas? electrolytes? Mas? I love me a healthy energy drink. Okay, shout out Jazz. Jazz, Jazz Fit sí. and her team all the way from Texas for sending us three cases of Mas Energy. Dude, this Jamaica flavor is really good. Yeah, I got the I Jamaica, Jamaica too. the Jamaica one since the first time we tried it. Tamarindo. And it tastes like Tamarindo. Tamarindo a la mujer. Yep. <laughs> Man, we back episode 165. Yes. 165, yes. 165 shots right now. <laughs> right now, right now. Damn. No, you know what? It's I'm proud of us because we've been, again, we haven't missed a Monday. This is another one in the books. Life is life. Life has, Just been, have, has been life. <laughs> this time, I think the week went by a little bit faster. So if you made it this far and you're listening to us today on a Monday, congratulations. You made it another week. You made True. You made it another day because our episodes don't premiere until 5 p.m. So you made it through the morning. You're surviving the afternoon. And right now, let's your reminder that, hey, it's going to be okay. Right. You know, I want to give a shout out to everybody that's uh, following us on YouTube and everybody on our TikTok live. I told you guys last time we were going to stream the live TikTok of our podcast. So everybody on TikTok right now. W's in the chat. W's, W's in, the in, the chat. in the chat. W's in the chat. No, last time, if you were on, on live this week with us, with me, put the rocket emoji on there. It's one of my favorite emojis. Put the rocket emoji if you fuck with us. The and rocket emoji. The rocket emoji, right. yeah. Because right. we're shooting to the, we're to shooting the stars. We're shooting to the stars. <laughs> we're shooting to the stars. I'll throw another Okay, okay. I thought it was too. another reason, but okay. All right, but, you know, shout out to our sponsor, Shop Segura. Yeah. Right. You can get girls, go get your Western wear. Fellas, if you want to get your girls something nice to wear, shopsegura.com right now. Use, everybody in the chat, ATTL15 for a nice little discount nice code. Little discount. It's because I wanted to start it off a certain way, but our chat is definitely on it right now. Oh, Shout ready. out to Pre Precise Auto for giving us our all the love right now, all the gifts. But someone said, uh, how do I let go of a girl that I still love? Do, do we feel like if, if they did us wrong, hurt us? I say. I'm like, you have to take into consideration yeah. why you want to let that person go in the first place. So I just find it easy. I, don't them, like, yeah. I feel like when they do you dirty or do me dirty, I just find it super easy to let them go. I don't even you, want you can to let work. You can let them go, but are you going to let go of that love if you truly did love them? Well, I don't even It depends on how like bad like on how bad they did me. Like, if I'm being transparent, regardless. Yeah. like... I can get over it if it's just me, right? But, like, let's say they do something to somebody that I love more than that person. Like, I'm sorry. Like, the love is done. They Wait, say that true love that's it. is almost like that motherly love. Yeah. Say your mother did to you the, the most thing, uh, heinous thing you can think of. Are you still going to love her at the end of the day? See, mom, I don't know. I, I haven't met that no, type no, no. of love. I have not got into yeah. that type of love to where Damn. I find another motherly love. So yeah. anybody else in my life that I've loved to this date, if they do something super wrong, like I'm going to cut their ass off. Like, yeah. Just like that. Like I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I, At least until I meet that person. That other you know? person that like, gives you that motherly love. Exactly. Yeah. No, because I, I love that you said that. A mother love. Like that's one of the most purest and most perfect forms of love. Like... Your mother loves you through every, regardless, every little thing of you, all your deficiencies, all your insecurities, every single problem that you may have had or every wrong that you may have done. They love you at to the end of day, no matter what, you know, and it, I understand like certain situations happen. But I think as guys, when you find that one girl that you just, hey, no matter if right now, I'm in the middle of the building falling down. You call me, I'm going to answer. You know what I mean? Like, you're the one person that no matter what part of the day, no matter what moment of the day, it's like, I want to be with you. I want to hear your voice. I want to talk to you. And if for whatever reason, God took you away from me for this moment, it's cool. But the moment you come back, who am, who am I to, to say, no, I don't want you. I still love you. But sometimes it's. You have to like reposition them. 
Yeah, you gotta reposition. I still love you, but maybe not in the same way you once right. were. <laughs> All right, let, let's put it in perspective. If someone hurt you, like really hurt you in a in a way that you probably never could imagine this person to hurt you, do you hold a grudge towards this person? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think you ever see that person the same way as you did at the beginning, especially when they do you dirty. Yeah. That's crazy. What happened? I'm taking a second. I'm taking a second. Guys. Okay. Are we still rolling? Oh, okay. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Yeah, that one's good. All right. We're good. We're good. We're All right. Good. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're, back. We're gone. Yeah. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Yeah, yeah. So if they hurt you, do you still, do you hold a grudge on this person? Yeah, I do. Uh, Personally, I do. I can't say that I don't. I'd be lying if I said. What if they apologize? Sincerely apologize. I can accept their apology. I think we've said this before. Like, I can accept your apology, but that's not going to change what you did and how I feel about you now for what you did. And how yeah, I felt. Forgiveness comes from within. Like, it's, it's going to have to take a lot of, like, self-evaluation and just thinking on your own for you to forgive that actual person. You know? Yeah. Like, Actually forgiveness. Like, I was really hurt, but I wish you the best. And hopefully you can have a good life, but just not next to me no more. Not yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, unless the person's, like, genuinely sorry and they accept it, it's like, okay, we are we can both try to move forward. But if they really don't care and they're just, like, they don't accept what they did, yeah. then I'm going to be like, yeah, no. Yeah, because you gotta, you got to come to an understanding. And we talked about this last time where someone does you wrong and at, no matter how bad it was, no matter how messed up they did you or how fucked up they hurt you, some way, somehow, the way we are, the way I am, I still try to trickle it back to what did I do to cause this? Yeah. What What did I do in order for that person to do me like this? Did I do something wrong? Did I not do enough? Did I fail in some sort of way? And it's like, no, it's not your fault for them doing that to you. Mm -mm. That's just a, that's just the way they are and what, what they did. So you're not at fault. Why do you try to justify their actions? Though? Maybe because you love this person? Like where you're trying to seek validation? But do you love them more than you love yourself? Maybe because you don't want you don't want them to leave, and you don't you you never thought that your life could be without them. So no matter how bad they fucked you over, you want to justify what happened because maybe if things could be redone, they would still be here and things wouldn't change. But you were perfectly fine before that person came into your life. Yeah, but then when you came, you changed my life for the better, or for Sometimes. the worse. For that moment, yeah. <laughs> for that moment. For that moment, I thought it was the best. But now you leave me and it's like, how do I do this? The same way you did it before, my boy. <laughs> and you, that's all dang, I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, like, w. W, with the, yeah. w is in the chat on me. this one. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mira con esta. <laughs> Jack Jack's just like, damn. Yeah. Like, I'm gone for a week and you guys are like, wow. Yeah, no. It's so spicy. I, it's just spicy. <laughs> it's because... I think for for in everybody's in everybody's life, you try to find that that form of love, whether it's being validated, whether it's being accepted, whether it's just feeling that sense of of someone wanting you. I think earlier in this week on TikTok Live, someone said, "Would you rather be wanted or would would you rather be needed by somebody?" Crickets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Repeat that. Like, I want, I want to be wanted, wanted rather than, or needed? than needed. Yeah. Would, would you rather be wanted by somebody or needed by somebody? I would rather... Do I have to pick one? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would pick rather one. be wanted by somebody because I, I feel like if somebody needs me, and for whatever reason I can't be there, it's like, you don't need me to depend on anything. Like, I need somebody to be certain of themselves, do, be, be able to do them by themselves, yeah, like conmigo sería like just like a plus, like yeah, like you know? I feel like needed is needed is that last option, like oh you're the last option. No, like because you, I mean, respectfully, you can't depend on anybody. Yeah. For for everything, like you yeah. know, get chiste, but I think when you're when you're needed, like they just use you for that moment. And once that moment is done, they'll have that option. Or mm -hmm. what do I really want? Do I really need is them it here you or want or them someone here? Someone else. Yeah. So I to me personally, it's I just, I'd rather just be wanted. I want someone to have me there. It's like our friendships, how genuine our friendships are. Like, 
we don't need each other, right? We don't need each other for a specific thing, but I genuinely want you here. The love, the friendship, the respect, the loyalty that we all have for each other. Hey, I'd rather have and share a piece of my life with you guys because, hey, we don't we don't need to have all the glitz and gamer. Shit, we got each other. Our friendship is worth a lot more than anybody can put a price on. So we said wanted. Pepe. I'm going to say wanted too. Wanted. Pero por qué? Wanted too. I Pero por qué? Copy and paste. Pero por qué? Copy and paste. No, I was going to say needed initially. Why? Oh, I was. And I'm, I'm just going to say it. But after hearing y'all's responses about wanting, being like a real thing or like in a sense too, where I want you to be around. I don't need you to be around. I want you to be around. It like flipped it completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's nice to be needed, but to be wanted is even nicer because they can have anybody, right? But they want But they want you. you. So yeah. anybody can meet certain needs that that person So needs. what was your reasoning for wanting to be needed then? I don't know. I just felt like I've always, like people just have needed me in their life for whatever reason. I think it's just what I've grown up with. Like, hey, it's what you're used I need to. you to do this, 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 and this for me. That it's different. Like, that's all I've ever known, pretty much. Like, oh, I need you to do this, this, yeah. this, and this. So it's just different to say, mm -hmm. oh, I want to be wanted, you know? But after I heard y'all's explanations, I'm like, damn. It is nicer to be wanted than it is to be needed. It's like that little question that they make. It's like, I, do want you want to go to this place or I want you to go to this yeah. place? Mm. It's like, don't, yeah. don't act like, no. No, There's, I want you to I come. want you to, I want yeah. you to want me to go. Yeah, exactly. I want you to need me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just I like that too. I, like that too. I want you to need me. I, yeah, no, no, I think that at the end of the day, that's just kind of what we want, especially like, I mean, if depending on how everybody grew up, but if you grew up as a timid uh, individual in, in school and then maybe parents weren't around too much or, you know, maybe you didn't have a lot of friends, but if you didn't receive that love early on in your life, you're sometimes you're always searching for that validation and, and that being around people like I just met whether I'm really cool to be around and they want me or I'm just here because they can use me yeah so just even being used and being needed by somebody it's them feeling that that sense of someone wants me mm -hmm. yeah. you know even if I know they're just using me like ah, someone wants me but then the moment they don't need you no more then they let you go and now it's a well shit what do I do now who do I have? What do I do? What's next? So it's like, it, it does feel like a sense of, a part of your heart in a sense where like, I've never been loved, I've never been wanted, but fuck, at least they're going to need me for something. Si vos para algo, ¿verdad? O como dicen, like, growing up, like, no si vos para nada, güey. It's like, damn, like, what am I good at? All of a sudden. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. You used to talk all this shit about me that you didn't, that I didn't, no iba a servir, I wasn't good for anything. Y ahora, yeah. ¿y ahora qué? Ahora me, me necesitan. Necesitan. ahora me necesitan. No me quieren, me necesitan. Ah, vergas. Pero ahora, mira, vete para allá. No vengas. Respectfully. 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 El respeto ante todo. Sí, sí, sí. Mira, si estamos en la tienda y me estás, en, las, en la Vallarta, me estás viendo, no vengas. Tú nomás métete a otro, a otra hilera. No vengas a decir hola. You want to talk about something? You know what? I think you have talk something on it. your chest. Are you guys petty? Petty? Are you guys petty? Everybody on the chat on like, TikTok, yes or no, are you guys petty? Are you petty? guys petty? Are you guys petty? I'm petty for like petty? 30 minutes. Uh. <laughs> I get over it. <laughs> Super petty. I'm going to get back at you. I... Revenge. Revenge. Because you know what? Oh. Let's keep it real. Karma takes a long time sometimes. So you just got to speed up the <laughs> it's process. Too long. It's like, yo, Karma, you taking too let long. Me let me do help it. you. Let, yeah, me, let do me do it. it. <laughs> let me get off that plate. You know? I'm going to get that shit you. off your plate. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to handle it. What's the most pettiest thing you've done? I can't speak about that. Everybody on IG. Everybody on IG. I, I, I wouldn't say done? I'm a petty person. Personally, I feel like it just takes too much effort. Like, I don't have, I have a lot of energy, but I don't got that, that much energy, energy to be petty like that. It's like, at the end of the day, it's like, ah, hey, move on. I've already got a lot of stuff to work on. And See, do, I'll move on so after I, I get back at you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to be petty. Yeah, when, once I got, I got my get back, 
or at least good. or at least make you feel the get back. We're good. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Just, just gonna make you feel like shit. Just I don't call me. To. Just don't call me. Don't reach out because I ain't gonna answer. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. I may answer just to you know, go shut up. Pe- who's, who's this? Pepe, Pepe, Petty. You gotta hit him with the who's this? Who this? Who this? Oh my bad. I I got a new I got a new number. I got a new phone. It's the same number for the past 10 years. You still have your broken ass crack phone? Oh man. It's um, it it does. Like people need to understand, like we're humans. We're gonna react a certain way when we get when we get hurt. Like I'm sorry the way I react, but Dude, these are my emotions. These are the feelings. You're the one that hurt me, so why the fuck are you getting mad? Because I'm mad now. And everyone's going to react different. Yes. Yeah. Some people are going to be petty. Some people are not. But everybody reacts different to a situation. No matter what, you cannot expect everybody to have the same reaction. Just saying. And I just feel like if if you would, if you cared enough, you would get a reaction. <laughs> like how I mentioned last podcast, too. Yeah. Like, you're gonna fight and argue and get a reaction if you do care. If you don't care, then it's just like it's over. Like yeah. All right. Some there's no point. Uh, baby, less on TikTok. Shout out to you. You you're on YouTube and everything. We put this on. This is a. I need you guys to explain. Whoever can, can you explain the difference between being petty versus pride in a relationship? Well, let's identify petty. What is being petty? Oh, in a relationship. I feel like Not you're, good. you're doing things out of like out of emotions just, just to, to get, get back at just the other to person. Get something to get back yeah. at somebody. Yeah. That's being petty. Yeah, like, like it, it no te va a pertenecer nada a ti, but it's to cause the other person a reaction. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. you're doing it on purpose. Yeah. Like you okay. know it's gonna get a mad. Okay. Like if you order her food and you eat it in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that's nasty. Or you, <laughs> that's you know nasty. she you know she hasn't had dinner but you order yourself some food. <laughs> and you just only for yourself because they want to start a war. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. And then okay, so what? Then what is pride? Is pride being like, oh, I'm not going to communicate right now, or I'm not going to talk or answer you? I feel like pride is something like that, but to the like that you're trying to convince yourself of some. Yeah, you're not trying to convince yourself of something. You know, like si tu ves una realidad, and for whatever reason you don't want to believe it, you don't want to see it, like. That's prideful of you. Does that make any sense at all? Like you don't want to accept the reality of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to yeah. to Ty. Being petty is seeking revenge. Being prideful is not like taking accountability. Okay. That's kind I, of on the lines of what we were saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, that's a that's a good short way shout of putting out it. Ty. Shout out, Ty. Yeah, I shout out. Shout out. Words. That was summarizing. I know because yeah. we're over here trying to give like a <laughs> thirty <laughs> word, so trying page. to give yeah. a thirty word explanation. <laughs> all right, this is for last question for this first part because it's been going really well already, and we're gonna get into this. They're not gonna lie, people. The answer on Instagram. Shout out to you guys. Some of you guys came from it, from TikTok. Some of you guys on Instagram couldn't wait for the not gonna lie link because you guys spammed us today. <laughs> but one of them was it, this was I think it's um, I want to say it's a very one of the ones that you have to come into conclusion and you gotta like acceptance. You gotta accept this. Do you believe in fate or do you think we have control over our, our own destinies? Uh, yes to both. I feel like. I believe in fate. Like things happen for a reason. Things are aligned for a reason. Uh, there's a correlation to if you do this, X, Y, and Z happens. If you do this, X, Y, and Z happens. But I also believe that we make our own luck. We make our own destinies with the choices that we have. Like we choose to do good. We choose to do bad. So it's like a, there's no. At least for me, for that question, I say there's no. There's not a no answer, but it's a both yes answer to what he's saying. How do you even? How do you even like? That? <laughs> I know. That was oh, a great that was explanation. A good one. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. Ditto. Control, Ditto. Control Ditto. V. Control V. <laughs> yeah. Control v. No, it's true. It's true. I was just gonna true. say it's it's yes to both, but I feel like there's just some things that no matter what you do, Our you skin. cannot get. You can't push out of the way. Like if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. No, I do think that depending on the level of hard work that you put in, yeah. you know, there's certain levels to things. There's certain levels to everything. But um, 
eso sí, you can determine a lot on that, but if it's for you, like, it doesn't matter how hard you try to steer the other way, like, lo que es para ti es para ti. Period. Snap fingers, snap fingers. <laughs> Pepe doesn't know how to snap. I don't know if you realize, but he doesn't know how to snap. <laughs> Crickets. Cheese boss, cheese boss, cheese boss. <laughs> Bro, whistles? <laughs> I don't know how to whistle either. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> es con amor, es con amor, es con amor. But I can listen. Jack, Jack, I think you can answer this for us because Ooh. last question before we we right. take a quick little Maybe break. Your best shot. Hopefully you understand this or Pepe understand this more than I do because I really couldn't. But whoever did this, thank you. Damn. Tú crees en la envidia buena? When someone says that tengo envidia pero de la buena. Yeah. Okay. Envidia de la buena. Yes. Because I say that a lot. I'm like, ay, te tengo envidia, pero de la buena. That means, for me, it's like I look up to you. Yeah. I admire what you're doing. I want to be like you. I want to aspire whatever you're doing. Like, te tengo envidia de la buena. Like, meaning, oh, I wish, like, I could do X, Y, and Z like they did. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, for me, it's never in a bad way. Um, la envidia, ya es otro pedo. Eso sí, you know, es malo. Pero envidia de la buena, it's just like... It's always for me like a, oh, I look up to you're you. You're so lucky. You're, how do I do this? I aspire. You inspire me. Facts. Yeah. Like yo le tengo mi de este way. If I'm being honest, of how good he can speak, just literally, I don't know how he does it, <laughs> he, but he's just, so well spoken. It's you like I'm just like, dude, you're so good at coming up. That's, how, like, that's how he was. It's so <laughs> natural. Like, <laughs> We're over here like He's a professional the bullshit is talker. Not I don't want to say that. No, <laughs> professional bullshit. I'm just in the <laughs> moment too. Shit off of his ass, literally to the craziest questions. He'll be like, and this is how it goes. And he goes on a tangent <laughs> for like 20 minutes. Yeah, and I'm very like, well how? spoken. How'd you come? Uh, no, How'd it's, you pull that out of your it's ass. It's because look, I, I believe in, in one thing. Look, look, very, look, look, no. <laughs> but look, if the way my expressions come out when I talk, it's going to make you believe it, whether it's bullshit or not. <laughs> So you're gonna believe it. And you're gonna believe it. Like I promise you, he there was. His own bullshit. <laughs> there, I did like a speech class in community college, and it was kind of like a. Uh, you got your topic, uh, twenty minutes before. You need to, you know, make some, make something up on it. No, tell me if I passed. <laughs> the best one of the nah, day. I was about the to be like, don't tell day. me. The best one of the day. But it's just, it's a difference. Like my mom, my mom hates when I cuss. I don't. I've never met a. Oh, well, yeah, never mind. I met other parents that they were cool with their kids cussing. Yeah. I'm 28. If I cuss, my mom's like, Eduardo, cállate. No digas eso. Same. Porque dices eso? I'm like, dude, what the? F-? And she's just like, dude, why do you cuss so much? Because she's heard me when I coach too. And I'm like, look, there's a difference between me saying, hey, good, go, go run faster. And they're like, whatever. Between, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Go and fucking yeah. run even Oh shit! <laughs> and like he mad. I'm like, yes, I'm fucking yeah. pissed. My mom's just like, well, you don't need to talk to him. I was like, no, I need to. Today, uh, everybody in the chat right now, shout out to you guys for being on the chat right now for being with us on a Friday night. You could be doing ten million other things and you're here with us. So, everybody on TikTok live right now, you're getting a shout out on YouTube. Thank you guys. Love you guys for being so loyal and so supportive with us. So. You guys, Mira, una I just cream. got a comment saying, I look, I remember going to high school, middle school with you. You look so different now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Ooh. I don't know. You tell us. We need to see those pictures. The, the glow the up, pictures I'm now. not even going to lie. The glow up was so real. Pero pues. <laughs> I mean, it happens. It happens. Muchas gracias. Huh? Yeah. The glow up is real. Huh? The glow up Don't, is No, no, no. The yeah. Glow up was, I've always been a late bloomer. Like always. People thought we were gonna be ugly in high school, and, and I was, and I still I was am. An ugly motherfucker. I'm um, now. Pero look, el dinero te cambia. Ah, pero pero yo ni siquiera tengo oh. dinero. Yo tampoco. <laughs> look, this is a we're we're not sponsored. We're not, but Fashion Nova hit us up. Hey. When they hit you with the sixty percent off text, I'm running. <laughs> I'm running. That's true. I'll be honest. I have zero Fashion Nova pieces. You you gotta get on it. You gotta oh. get on it. Do you guys shop at? Fashion Nova or what's the other one? Shein. Or Shein. Neither. Uh, Everybody in the I chat. Fashion Neither. Nova or Shein. I'm a, if I had to pick, I'm a Fashion Nova girly. High fives. Zara. 
Oh, so we're, we're, we're talking oh. about it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, no. But look, look, look. I'm gonna, I know that's from Zara, right? No. Oh, hell what? not. Target. Damn. You know, the only reason I don't say Zara. Calvin. The only reason. Oh, Spencer. Perdón. Macy's, it was like 40% now. Fashion Nova, Winster. Oh, oh perdón. Nah. You got money. Nah. Yeah, yeah. No, look. The only reason I don't shop at where he said. Zara? It's because they don't make 2X. I know. That's why I started shopping at H and M. Sad. H and M. Sad. Where I go. H&M? Look. H and M. I go to shop Segura. I don't know about y'all. See, you don't have guys. Going no, to- I don't. I don't. But for the Ooh. ladies, whenever you launch you know like a guy I'm line of tees or something, a. then shit. Okay. Okay. I'd buy them. I'd buy them. I'd buy them. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. See this. A little collab. A little collab. exclusive. Oh, a little clap. Ooh, Ooh a little pop-up. Someone, oh, hey. someone oh, said, right. someone said, ride a cowboy, save a horse. Ah. Ah. Who said that? Who said that? Ah, ah, they said, I'm not going to lie one. They People said, I'm not going to lie one. <laughs> they said, save a horse, ride a cowboy. People are wild. Miguel right. signing his hearts, man. Again, Dang. everybody on the chat, I'm, I'm going to try to stay interactive with all of you guys, but you guys are ready for the not going to lie yes. questions. When I when I ask it, I want everybody in the chat to comment down below your reaction. What would you do? Yes, so make sure todos con las orejas abiertas. Paren de hablar y, pa- y empiecen uh, a escuchar. Just tell us you want us to be quiet. He's going dad mode. <laughs> going to. ¿Quieres que me quite el cinto? Me quito el cinto. Ay no. Going to. <laughs> the voice goes down three octaves. All right. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Yeah. Ooh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna get this one. We're gonna get this word. I'm trying to find it's it. Wild one. All right, Jack Jack. I need you ready on this one. This one's. Is there such a thing as a guy mindlessly liking pics on IG, or are there intentions behind it? Oh, good. Look, while she thinks, I'm a, I'm gonna answer it from a guy's perspective. I was there there say. are times. Where I'm just gonna like stuff to like stuff, whether or not I actually like the picture. Like, there's times where Are some of my friends, I'm being transparent. Dead ass. Dead ass. Okay. Like, there's times where it's like, if it's a friend or someone I know and they posted something, if I'm scrolling, I'm just gonna like it. Whether or not I think that picture is good or not, I'm to still gonna like it. it. To support the cause. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna support my friends. Supporting the cause. It's the same thing as like, like if I'm looking at a story too, I'm just I'm not even looking at it. I'm just like yeah, exactly. Tapping well, like no, I do no, it to support. Like it's like hey, yes. my friends, my friends need the engagement, so I'm just gonna be that person. Like hey, let me like it, let me comment it. If I comment it, it's because I actually like it. Or even if I'm driving, I'm like this and I'm just tapping. Really? Just scrolling. <laughs> yeah. So aimlessly. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I think I think that if they're only liking a certain type of pictures, then that's completely different. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But, but if like you mind, mindlessly, mindlessly, mindlessly scrolling, it's like mindlessly? tap, 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 tap. Yes. I will Jack. say, exactly. I will say, there's some stuff that you. It's true. Mindlessly scrolling, you, le das like algo que maybe you didn't even think. Sometimes I save stuff and I don't even know I saved it. You know? Yeah, you look yeah. at your bookmarks like what yeah. the hell? And then I was <laughs> like, like whoa, 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 why do I like this? Um, yeah. Honestly. My take would be like, it's I I personally don't think it's that serious. Like if he's mindlessly scrolling, and he's liking a picture of a girl, whatever, it's really not that serious. You need to know the kind of relationship that you have that with that person to know what a like's gonna do. Exactly. At the end of the day, but no, like Pepe said, if he's following a bunch of spam accounts, if he's following yeah. all of these like. You know what? All these Insta baddies. All the Insta baddies. Pues I, maybe and they don't follow maybe him something. back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 then there might be something. But honestly, like if if I see something, like if I'm with somebody and they're liking a picture, personally, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take it that serious. Right. I don't think Neither so. But I. but you need to know what kind of relationship you have with that person. Facts. Will a like make him break? I hope not. And if it does, but reevaluate that relationship. So yeah. social media, the conversation we had the other day was like, social media is a big part in people's relationships. Oh, for sure. So everybody that's listening, everybody on TikTok, and you guys here, if your partner doesn't post you, is that a problem or is are you okay with that? I feel like if they don't post with the intention of trying not to post, like say... Say I'm dating you, Dusko. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm out here recording, right? There's literally a girl I'm right next to him. I'm on, I'm on the pod he chose right Dusko. <laughs> hey. Like, if I personally just t- do not record you, like, 
out my way and not record you, just not post it because I don't want to, then that's a problem. Yeah. But if they just don't do it just because they just don't want to do it or they don't post, it doesn't really matter. I think every relationship is different, though. Like, there's people so. that like to be posted and other people that don't. Mm -hmm. Like, I could be in a yeah. super private relationship and people wouldn't know. Yeah. Right? Because private versus a secret. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's a difference. If she says, hey, don't post me, then I'm not, I'm obviously going to respect mm -hmm. her wishes. Yeah, but I, I think... Why, why don't you want to be posted? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if she doesn't want hey, me to post, honestly, then I'm not going to post. Honestly, it's because, dude, like, once you put your relationship out into the internet, like, there's going to be people of all ruin types. It. Yeah, so yeah. you have to be ready, you know, and especially, like, if you have you know, somewhat of a platform or anything like that, like, la gente te va a venir a atacar, yeah. sea lo que sea. And then the biggest thing is, like, tienes, tienes a los chismosos that try to, or whether it's your friends that just don't want you to be in a relationship, or someone in your family, or someone random that just doesn't want you to be happy or yeah. with that person, yeah. what happens? Hey, did you know that your person used to be this or doing that or used to be with this person? It's like... Exactly. Yeah. That's why it's like if you post somebody, and it, it could go both ways, but if you post somebody, you're opening yourself up to just everybody and anybody going, feeding, like, yeah, feeding and having, trying to have a say in it. But also, if you're one of those people that posts one person now and then six months down the line, it didn't work. <laughs> where, where is he? Where is she? And now you got to explain yourself to everybody. It's like, no, I don't, I don't, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, no. I don't. I don't really want to do that because it, it's. There's a difference between being private and being a secret. A secret. A yeah. secret. Like I'm down to post Pepe's hand if I'm having dinner. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> or two drinks just like clinging together. But it's like you may not know who I am. But if you're following my team or my people, like you're gonna see the same picture just in a different perspective. <laughs> okay, then let me ask you this, dude. So oh like, shit! Here we go. So right now you're in Orita. a relationship I'm an today. Do you want to be posted or not? No. 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 Jose? <laughs> I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't mind it. Yeah. You do want to be posted? Yeah. All right. Like a story. I just oh, like don't, a yes or no answer. Don't make yeah. me yes feel no. like a freaking... What about you? Do you want to be posted? Yeah, do you want to be posted? No. And why is that? Is it because maybe you... I just, I just because people, people know my... you single? No. Because, you know what? Because people think they know it all, but they don't even know half. Okay. It's facts. I show what I want to show yeah. on social media. Yeah. And la gente de veras piensa que lo sabe todo y no sabe ni la mitad. Yeah. But respectfully, there's just some things that I like to keep private. Yeah. And that's one of the things. So, um, no, I don't want to be posted. And, no. and it's not to, like, I'm trying to keep it a secret or anything. Si me preguntan, yo les contesto lo que está pasando. Yeah. But Would you tell him to not post you then? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, just to keep it in between us. I think that's a, like, that's a conversation you have to have yeah, you with you have your person. To have a conversation yeah, communication with yeah. Is key. yeah, yeah, communication just, is definitely no key. Like, like, definitely have the conversation so that way you know yeah. what like, you want. Besides dating, like, say you guys are together, mm -hmm. like actual relationship. Yeah. yeah. Are you still gonna tell them, oh, don't post me? Honestly, yeah. It's just because once you start posting, people start getting into your business and then they get really involved. And honestly, yeah. I've learned the hard way. It's yeah. just. Better to keep certain things private. And for me personally, I like keeping that aspect of my life. And then it's, it's like yeah. sometimes too where like, I mean, I'm sorry to offend my fellow gentlemen, but you know, <laughs> some guys just don't respect. They know That's they're taking true. or they know. And it's like, oh, I'm still going to go and message them. Like, I don't care if you post me. You don't need to. Post where we're at, what we're doing, what I get you, where we're going, the car, whatever, the ride, whatever it is. You don't need to post me. That doesn't make make or break my relationship. Yeah. What makes or breaks my relationship is do you respect that you have somebody? Do you respect me when we're out? And when I'm not around, do you still respect our relationship? So that's my personal thing. Like, don't you don't need to post us. Don't let anybody get involved in what we're doing and what we have. Yeah. That's totally cool with me. But if you want to post the gifts, where we're going, what we're doing, what we're eating, hey, go ahead. That's yeah. perfectly fine. The ones that will know will know. And... Just respect. Respect what we have. Respect me. I'll respect you. And if we're out, it, I'm going to give you your place. This is my person. Respect me. Respect her. We're good. I don't need to publicize to the whole world to be like, oh, this is my... No, no. Yeah. Why? Nah. I, I'd rather be with myself. Like, it, that's it. it. Yeah. It peaceful. Yeah, like, I think with the, with the team that we have, it's just more of like, obviously, we're, we're in social media. You, you have to have a, a presence and you need to show it. 
Yeah. But I know we can all handle ourselves accordingly when shit pops off exactly. or if like any sort of drama. I don't need to get into a back and forth to try to defend what's mine. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. yeah. if somebody tries to like go back, okay. Why entertain the clown? I ain't I ain't part of the circus. You have that time. You go and do that. You go waste your energy. I'm happy with mine. Because once you start allowing people to come and have a say in your relationship. No, and I feel like like that. Everybody has a say in a relationship, but then everybody also has a past. Yeah. So, el que busca encuentra. And yeah. sometimes, like, I just rather not know. Like, yeah. whatever yeah. that person did in the past is their business. And as yeah. long as it doesn't interfere with what's happening now and moving forward, like, me vale. You're a better, you're a better woman than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause that was we a talked about yeah. We talked about this. Yeah. All right, Jack, Jack. From a woman perspective, when you get with the guy, do you care about his past, what he did, or like, does that matter? Okay, there's levels. Like, obviously, like if we're talking about felonies and stuff like that. Like, okay, like <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wonder a little bit. I'm right? gonna <laughs> wonder a little bit. But are we, are we talking relationship wise or what? Relationship wise. So I think we what. The question was, if I remember correctly, it was, you're with this person two or three years. You know, it's been a while. They're a big part of your life. You guys broke up. You guys have about six to eight, nine months separated. But you knew and know that this person went to go see somebody else or someone else was in the picture. Mm. Do you still take them back? Yes or no? If you and that person decide to get see you guys are going to do things right. Yeah, but you knew, like, after the two oh, years. Oh, but in the six months. So in the two years, you guys broke up. And then during that breakup time, happened. which is six, nine months, but you found out, like, someone, hey, Jack, did you know that so-and-so was so somebody else? Oh, and then say he comes back and be like, Jack, I miss you. I want to work it out with you. Toma me okay. atrás. And if I decide to go back and, like, me and that person are on the same page, Whatever happened in those six months, respectfully, is none of my business. Thank you. Because that's because literally that what I said. I Hell no. That's what I said. Hell no. no, no, no. We <laughs> want together. Because, because, I, because I, I consented to, to the there. six month break. I consented. I was doing my own thing. They were doing their but own thing. But what if you if didn't we were, do your well, own thing? Well, that's on me. That's my problem. Exactly. She chose not to. I chose not else. to. But if that person <laughs> was six months apart and we weren't together, then baby girl, we were not together. If it was one person, two, it three, was, four, well, that's on you. It's none of my business. One day. Hell no. But that's, <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, moving forward. Okay, like, let's say, like, Jose and I, we're going to work things out. And, like, moving forward, vamos a hacer las cosas bien. Then I'm going to hold you accountable to whatever we do moving forward. Yeah. And whatever was ours between those two years. But, like, if I said okay, let's take a six month break, then I then I I gave into it too, and hey, that's none of my business. No, 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 I definitely no, thank you. Not. Yeah, there was, cheers, thank you. cheers, a toast, water. It, a toast. toast. It's like we said, like as long as whatever you did doesn't come back while we're now together, right? That's like right. whatever you did, cool. But if that thing or whatever like starts to still stick around when we're now trying to work it out, I mean, you got to stick that thing yeah. or person, whatever it is completely out yeah right? it's, it's well, about letting go so here's the next question so everybody in the chat go for it shoot. make sure you guys, you guys think? keep 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 an ear out abran los oídos por favor si no han entendido <laughs> so put it in perspective say you're going through your heartbreak this is that heartbreak that hurts you I don't, yeah. that this is a heartbreak that hurts you this is a heartbreak that has you been depressed about that you've been crying about that you feel like now you're empty Okay. Time passes, you recover. You made it out. You made it out of that dark space of not knowing what life was without this person. You figured it out. You found your happiness again. This person tries to come back now. Do you allow them back into your life? No. No. Immediately, no. No. Straight up, no. Mm. I find, I'm finally happy again. I found my peace. Like, I love life again. Mm. Like, why am I going to allow you to come back and, poss- and possibly screw that up again? Like, no, because then what happens when you leave or if you leave again? Mm-hmm. Am I miserable for whatever time it took me to heal? And you ended that and yeah. you came out a stronger person. Take that lesson and keep it as a lesson and move on. Para que vas a regresar a algo? You're going to take two steps back? Yeah. I don't, personally, I don't think so, I think. What about you? Um, I think not, too. Like, because... It's, it's, it wasn't a long-ass time ago, but it was one of those things where 
um, someone said, like, they got mad at them for moving on. Like, oh, well, we broke up a year ago. And you're depressed, everything. You made it out. You did that internal work that you need to do once you're done breaking up. You got to find your happiness once again. You need to find out who you are once again without this person. And that person now is coming back, and now they're blaming you for not waiting or not trying to fight for you guys. Now this person is like, oh, well, now I'm suffering because now I realize I missed you. And it's like, well, you're too late now. I survived. Like, I did my work. I bettered myself. I healed. But yet now you're trying to do the healing, and now you're mad at me because now I don't care about you. So that person would come back with, like, like a negative energy? Yeah, like, mad at you for healing. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> hell no. That sounds personal. No. Well. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and well, just, that sounds personal. Sounds like you're living it. Because I want everybody the benefit of a doubt. Like, if somebody comes back and they come in with, like, a good head on their shoulders and they're like, okay, let's do things right moving forward, then yeah. maybe, like, all right, I'll, I'll see it. I'll think about it. But if you're going to come back and you're already, like, Making this all about you? No. It's just like... Es porque uno dice, donde había fuego, queda cenizas. Jack Jack knows that phrase. <laughs> I, do, I do know like, that. But... Ellie said, pero dicen que uno siempre a donde fue feliz y se te olvida cuando te lastimaron. ¿Cómo? Wherever you were happy, you forget about it once they hurt you. Donde una vez fuiste feliz y te lastimaron, se te olvida. I don't know. I don't I mean, think so. I think you always remember when you were happy. But you don't think that you trauma comes backwards. But you always have to like see what outweighs what. Were you really happy or did the heartbreak really get you? Because you kind of got to see which one made a bigger impact. Yeah. yeah. I mean, cool. it's one of those where is the hurt bigger than the, yeah. the what is it? Do, do the good times outweigh the bad times yeah. or the exactly. out, bad times and outweigh the good times? And sometimes they might. But, you know, yeah. God, God, yeah. All right. We're going to let Jack Jack kind of have this oh, say on us on this oh, one. No. All right. Hit me. All right. Everybody ready on the chat? Friend. Everybody make sure you're doing the little, the rocket ship, the rocket ship. Keep liking. We're at 10,000 likes on live. <laughs> We're at 10,000 likes on live within 45 I minutes. Yeah. 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 W's in the chat. W's in the chat. Just like Jose <laughs> says. The They're putting me on the spot today, guys. All right. Man, they are. They are. This is, this is a hard one. Jack Jack. Oh. Why do why do you think men jump into a new relationship a few weeks after a breakup? <laughs> Perspective of a woman. Perspective of a woman. Um I feel like men are not as emotional as women. And respectfully you guys, well, yeah, men definitely. just will will do anything to just kind of like feel something. I mean, sorry. But, no, like, I, I feel agree. like men... Huh? Yeah, agree. like, you guys are so, like... Just... The most emotional guys. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's... Well, first of all, I feel like maybe he's already emotionally checked out. Like, this guy was checked out a long time ago. This, yeah. just guy, this guy has a purpose, and he wants to get something done. And if he moves on, baby girl, like, he has other goals. Like, he, he wants to have some fun. He wants to do this, this, and that. But, like, I just don't think you guys are as emotional as women. Or when it comes to that. Am I wrong? No, you're not. You're not. It, we don't. Like the well, roles reversed. If the girl moves on that as fast, it'll be more of a more of a telling like, oh, she definitely moved on because she emotionally attached to that guy. But for mm -hmm. guys, if she just did it, like he, if he moved on within the two weeks, it was just for like lust. Yeah, right, it was right? less. That, I difference. mean, yeah. yeah, honestly, yeah. Right, but for girls, it's mo mainly yeah. she uh, thought about it. It's more emotional attach attachment. To yeah, it. like maybe she was actually really emotionally attached. But I honestly feel like the guy just got tired of it and wanted something new and wanted something fun. And yeah. that's what he did. And he moved on two weeks later. And that's nothing on her. But I mean, that's just I feel like you guys are a little more. We don't like to feel. I don't like to feel. We should. We don't, we don't like. Respectfully, you guys are just more physical. Like, we don't. We don't like to be alone. Honestly. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on. Hold. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Look. As much as guys can just be like, it's just like a physical thing. Girls are the same way. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah, they're girls. Not. Girls, I'm girls not are the same way. Not. You read some of those things. <laughs> those comments, like you know, females are actually. Yeah. 
no, I'm not saying that. Not all, not all. A lot of people are worse than a lot of the guys out there. I think everybody takes like that breakup differently, but I think point of the matter is if the guy or girl moves on weeks later, the one, the first thing that comes into that person's mind, the other person's mind is that person was there. Yeah. That person's been there. That ain't you. That that ain't you. That's That's like. That, that was that one friend checking in and how are you? Are you okay? Do you need something? There was definitely hey. something. There was definitely before. something there. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's always I a friend. It's, 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 it's always the one they tell you not to worry exactly. about. Exactly. It's always the one they tell you not to Gas worry about. Gaslighting. He's oh, just a friend. Just a friend. Just or he's a friend. just a friend. Oh, we're like best friends. We're practically family. Are you, oh my God. You're really going to believe that? <laughs> you're really going to believe that? That's my brother. Come on. <laughs> I love him like a brother. <laughs> no, but I mean, I will say, like, if a girl moves on quick after that, it's because she was checked out emotionally thousand percent. way before. Thousand. And yeah. I think that's worse, the and emotional I checkout. I think so, because, like, the last, what, three, four months, were you just, like, faking it? Like, yeah. what? Because, yeah, for women, it takes a long time to yeah. mentally check out. And once you're finally mentally checked out for They're good, done. it's like. It's hard to even get them back at that point. Yeah, yeah. no, it. Yeah, the gone. once they're gone, they're gone. The woman is the woman is gone, and like there's if, no coming like back. don't get me wrong, like I feel like you have those women that are very loyal, but if you're not treating that your queen the the way that they deserve to and want to, and then somebody else does, they're gonna find that other person and be like, man, like this is what I wanted to feel: the butterflies, the happiness, the excitement. Now I gotta go home and go see. My man, who doesn't even like that I'm home, or doesn't even care that I'm home. Yeah. So it's just like, it, as cliche as it sounds, like if if you don't, someone else will. Like somebody's trash is somebody is somebody else's treasure. Like yeah. re- really, like and that's where guys and girls kind of get mad at when someone moves on because they see that person happy and it's like they could have been happy with you, but you weren't doing what you needed to do to make them happy. Now you're mad and salty that they found it with somebody else. Because why? They're doing what they asked or what they wanted. Yeah. El que, si sabes lo que traes, lo vas a apreciar. El que well, tiene tienda que lo atiende. Inga su madre. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the sad part is, is, though, most people don't realize what they had until it's gone. Until it's oh, gone. That's true. It's because, like, true. That's, bullshit that's the sad part. Bullshit aside, like when someone is very controlling or someone, or they think, oh, they're not, they can't do better than me, they won't leave me. They get so comfortable. They won't, they won't leave me. We've been together for six, seven years. They'll never leave me. And then they leave. And then, you're fucking kidding me. You <laughs> gave up on me. It's like, bro, they gave you all the signs. This hasn't been a happy household in how long? Or a happy relationship in how long? So now it's like, now you're mad. Again, people blame you for taking care of you. People blame you for being selfish, putting your own happiness first. It's like, you're mad at me for choosing me, but you never even chose me in the first place. So how, how is it my fault now? It's my fault because I want to be happy. You got me fucked up. And I guess that, that sort of guilt, right? Where it's like, damn, what if, what if I would have worked it out or fought a little bit harder or a little bit longer? But do you accept that to that person? Because uh, let's keep it real. A lot of us are prideful. We're not going to accept. We're not going to admit to the other person mm-hmm. that we messed up. It's a lot easier to just put the blame on them. We'll realize reflect than it is to own our well, shit. In the moment, you won't realize it until, or you won't up, you won't up, own up to it. But once it's moved on, or that person's moved on, you'll realize it. Like, damn, I had it good. <laughs> How Jose said last time, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Like, you can have, guys and girls, you can have two, three, four, as many other partners you want. But when you had that one loyal person and that one person that loved you from through the ugly, the, the beautiful, the bad, and you realize that the other person is only there to use you for whatever you have, you're like, damn, this other person loved me at my worst. Do you ever admit it to that person? When you're mature enough to have a conversation. I was going to say, communication is so important because I'm a firm believer that if you're in a relationship, I can't read your mind and you can't read my mind. So my job is to communicate what I need to you and I need you to do it. Now, if you don't do it, well, yes, that's That's not you. If you knew what you're not doing and what I need. Like, I don't expect you to understand. Like, hey, this is my love language. This is what I need to feel good in a relationship. Ya te dije una vez, it's 
you take the lead and do whatever you need to do. But now if I told you once and twice and you're still not getting the memo, yeah, then so that's a problem. And vice versa. That goes yeah. for men and women. I mean, I think communication in a relationship is huge. Don't, don't blame me for moving on and choosing myself. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, as a woman, like, who emotionally detaches yeah. months before, like, I feel like women give men the menef- benefit of a doubt. And it's like, oh, maybe he'll change. Maybe he'll do something. But once you get to a point where you see no change whatsoever, it's like, I'm out. I mean, I feel like women, perdonan mas and will give more chances. But then after that, it's like. Why are you acting shocked? Why that face? Why are you, why are you shocked, dude? Do you want to wow. agree or disagree? Go for it. Because wow. that face, that, what? that, that. He was shook it. I was shook it. Did it bring up a thought? It oh, does. Wow. What? Not, Say it with your I, chest. I think it, it's, it's a 50 50. Girls perdonan, pero los hombres la aguantamos. If a girl isn't showing us they love us, or a girl isn't showing us they're interested, or they're going to be there and ride or die, like, la aguantamos. It's just ¿Cómo, toxic. ¿cómo así? It's just toxic. ¿Cómo así? ¿Cómo que aguanta? I think the, la aguantamos not being loved in the way that we want to. Okay. La aguantamos, like, hey, you know what? Like, I got to do X, Y, and Z, and. You may not want to be with me, but you know what? Todavía te voy a agarrar tu ramo buchón. Todavía I'm going to spoil you. I'm going to show you attention. When I know, if I try to, like, give you all that, like, it's you're not going to accept it completely because it's like, oh, we, it's it's the timing. And then fucking two weeks later, están con otro vato. Y verga. Then why would you guys do that? Like, why would you guys <laughs> I wouldn't. put time and energy into that? I'm not. <laughs> He's like, I'm not speaking for everybody. Speak for yourself, because I'm not. But I'm also, say. You also got to think about what you didn't do in the relationship when you were with them. Yeah, that causes them to have that behavior towards you now that you want to try again. Yeah, because you can't just put it all on them. No, right? It's like no. you're like I get when I was with you, and now you're acting this way because of the way I treated you when we were together. Thanks. Like you broke the trust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's not. You can't just put the blame on that person. I feel. All right. It's like, can you say yo? And then that's when you got to reflect. And all right, everybody in the chat, you guys have been amazing. Nothing less than amazing. All right, let me find the one that estaba bueno. Okay. Estaba bueno. Estaba bueno. All right, everybody in the chat, make sure, make sure you're throwing the rocket if you guys are ready for this next question. Cause you guys are ready? You guys feel good? You guys are ready? We're ready. We're ready. Ya se cansaron? Ya se quedan dormir? No, we're just getting started. Let's <laughs> just get warmed up. Ah, warmed let's up. do this. Let's do this. I'm feeling warm All right. now. Would you guys date someone with kids? No. Sorry. Yes, actually. He I answered. Absolutely not. <laughs> it was like, no. Nope. You asked this question not. on live the other day. Yeah. And I answered, yeah, I answered, yeah. But the thing is, is I want my own biological child. So as long as you're open to having a child with me, I'm all for it, right? Little if you tell me, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you tell me, hey, I already have my two kids, I don't want another kid. Yeah. Then respectfully, yeah. I'm gonna have to like dip from that like relationship. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste your time or my time, right? And I think that's one of the conversations that you kind of have, like yeah. a couple dates in. Yeah. Some people like to wait like a long time. When we were on live, people said, oh. You ask a couple months in. It's like, no, 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 no. It's like, that's a couple <laughs> dates into the relationship. No, that's no. within Very 30 minutes. Conversation. All right. So the question here, Jack Jack, was for specifically for you. A specific question for oh. me. You in the, that, da- in the dating world, would you date a man with a kid or with kids? Yeah, I would. I don't think it's a, I don't see it as a problem, especially now that I'm like older. Um, as long as we're aligned on the same goals, I don't see a problem with there being kids in the relationship. I would, I would give it a shot, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Would it matter if it's like, I know you say it doesn't matter, but would it matter if it was like one years old or maybe like twelve years old kid, uh, like a, like a teenager? Mm. I guess. Mm, that's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> um, I think it might be a little hard if the child is really young. I mean, I just, I don't know. I feel like. At that stage of a child's life, they need a lot of attention, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. sharing that time or whatever that looks like, it might be new for me. But no, I I think that 
I would date somebody with a child as long as that person's goals are aligned with mine. Mm-hmm. I do not have a problem with dating somebody yeah. with a child. All right. So here's the here's a dilemma that someone had on I'm not gonna lie. Dilemma. Ooh. All right. Oh, everybody good. on the chat, everybody in the chat, make sure you guys dilemma. react as dilemma. soon as you hear it, react whatever comes dilemma. to mind. Dilemma. Here's a dilemma. Because it is a dilemma. Relationships bring dilemma. <laughs> The guy I was dating for three years broke up with me because of my kids and because I can't have any more kids. Do you think this was unfair or should he have stuck it out since he knew from the beginning? It brings me back to my dating a female with kids. Were you transparent that you couldn't have kids right off the get go? Mm. Or did you wait? X amount of time. How many years was it? It was three years. Three, three years. Yeah. Did you wait three years to be like, hey, surprise, I can't have kids? Because <laughs> right. if you waited, then yeah. that's on you. Yeah. And like, I, respectfully, I don't feel sorry that he dumped you. Yeah. Because I don't. I could lie and sugarcoat it and say, oh my God, it's not your fault, but it is your fault. That would determine a lot. If she didn't say anything, you know, at the very beginning and yeah. she's three years in and it's like, oh, by the way, I can't have kids. Like, all right. All right. Dude, if he left, let him leave. If they tell you from the beginning, oh, I don't want to have any more kids, and you agree, but say in a year or two, you change your mind. I think no, but everyone she is. says she can't have kids. Yeah, yeah, she can. Yeah. But I'm saying from your partner. Oh, like, okay, say. Okay. Did she tell me? Yeah, yeah. So, like, if I'm, if I'm dating my partner, and I knew she already has two kids, and she's like, hey, I don't want more kids. Okay, cool. But then a year or two down the line, you're kind of like, well, damn. I kind of want my, I want a kid of my own. I'm not saying these two little ones are not mine. Right, like, if I'm part of their life, like, you know, I classify yeah. them as mine, but I want something of my blood. I want something that came from, from me, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm no, saying? I like, think, I think that that's valid because yeah. you're allowed to change your mind. You, you're not going to say something one year and then three years later keep thinking the same thing, you know? Yeah, people, people change, change their mind all week. the time. But if it's really that important to you to have a child, like if that's one of the top things in your life that you want to have, then you need to step away and, you know, it's not meant to be with that person. Yeah. But I think it's very valid for somebody to change their mind. If he knew right off the bat he wanted a child of his own, then yes, it's unfair to her, mm-hmm. right? But if she waited three years to say, yeah. hey, no puedo, yeah, we need to. then that's on you. It's like, like the people on the live said, we need context. We need the full story, yeah. not just like yeah. that little bit of, that we're just provided, saying. yeah, that kind of makes him look like yeah. not the nicest. Yeah. Here's a, yeah. I think it, it's just being transparent and being, of communicate. Mm-hmm. You got to communicate and mm-hmm. I, I think you can come to agreement with your partner depending on how serious and how you view your partner. If that's someone you plan to be with for the rest of your life and you're cool with their decisions, cool, I understand. We can figure out another way or we can just be happy. Right. But if you know this topic is going to come back again and again and again, yes. Why put yourself through that time and why put your, why waste your time and their and their time? Yeah, I mean they could have had a three year old by now. Dándole duro. Dándole duro. This so this is gonna this is very this is a vulgar question. It's a hard question. A what? It's a hard question because it, it's it's it's, it's, it's an honest we one. We asked the, ask, ask the realest question on here. Everybody on here, you guys at answer. What are your thoughts on dating someone who is practicing celibacy? Is it a deal breaker or not? <laughs> How long are they practicing celibacy? Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. a real question. That's How a real long question. Can do it? Like after uh, what, a couple of dates or marriage? Because <laughs> if they're the person, they're we're getting married next week. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're, going, we're going to Vegas. Uh, no, wait. Answer, right? We're going to wait <laughs> five <laughs> years. <laughs> for nothing. First day is going to Vegas. <laughs> we're getting married, we're getting married right, right, now. right now. I already booked the hotel. The chapel's taken you know care what? of. If that, if that person's okay with it, honestly, <laughs> it's a case by case. But if, a lot if of you're people, being dead ass yeah. and you're like, this is a problem for me then I don't think that they should pressure that person to change anything. Uh, Someone said, it's a deal breaker, especially if your love language is physical. Exactly. No, you just got to be true to yourself. Well, I'm just going to touch you. (laughs) (laughs) Like, hey. Oh. (laughs) Oh. 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 I got Jose right here. I can touch him. I mean, let's like be real. Like if they they want to practice celibacy, that's fine. That's that's fine. You know, cada quien. Yeah. But don't, don't lie to yourself and, stick out something that you know you can't yeah 
it, exactly. to. Especially when, like they said, if your love, love language, language is physical, physical touch, then yeah. as messed up as it sounds, you may go find mm-hmm. It'll it somewhere else. Yeah. You may find that somewhere else. You may yeah. have go looking somewhere else. And at the end of the day, it's like, why? It's because you have to understand that level of, of action. It's So what some people, it comes with maturity and understanding. Doing that, you're exchanging energies your com- compatibility like yeah it's cool don't get me wrong go have fun do your thing but hey like also remember that with that action you can create a life and then other decisions need to be made but you also have to remember like how valuable is your energy if you're willing to give it to everybody yeah you know what i mean like it this it's just in a deeper uh set of context but it's like if you're for everybody then you're not really a value because you're willing to give it to anybody and everybody. Mm -hmm. But if you're willing to, hey, you're being very selective and you're like, hey, I I don't care about this part of the relationship. I care about you first and establishing that connection. That's like number one thing. Can I have a deep connection with you? Can I have a conversation with you? Can we connect on a deeper level, not just superficial? Like it, it does get hard, but it's like you see everybody's true intentions. You, that'll it, tell you a lot. Yeah, like you see everybody's true intentions, and sometimes it's more of a. <laughs> you see, <laughs> sometimes you see like everybody's, um, uh, reaction when this happens, and then they don't hit you back up. And you thought, why you lying? Clip? Why, why the uh, fuck you lying? Pepe why feels a certain lying? way. Bebe, how important is that in a relationship for you? How important is what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like number three. On the list of love languages. So, honestly, it's not it's not the most important thing. All right, how do you rank them, your love languages? Damn. You put yourself on that Yeah, spot. you did. I know, I did. But now you got to answer, because yeah. it's valid. Everybody it's on here, rank your... I think are one, what are your guys' love one. languages? And then, fudge. Uh, so, it's, it's words of it's affirmation, words of affirmation, physical touch. That one's third. He said that one was third. That was third. Yeah. Okay, so what's so second? What's second? Uh, Remember acts of service. Acts of, uh, acts of service. El otro, what's the there's other two? quality time. No, there's... quality time was actually one. Oh, then okay, quality, okay, okay. Quality Bring time, it back. quality time. Words of service. Words of service. Damn, that actually just put physical touch on fourth. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, they can. Don't touch what? Pepe. Don't touch Pepe. Yeah. What? You don't touch care. me. <laughs> Can't touch this. Do, yeah. do, 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 do. <laughs> No, yeah. It's... Mm. So, physical touch is that kind of the bottom like of the four, list. like four, yeah, it is. Okay. That's okay. I mean, that's okay. Yeah, I mean... That's, that's okay. for me, though. That's just for me. What about y'all? Because I'm over here, like, hearing all this change of information. <laughs> no, 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 no. Change of energy type of thing. And I'm like, my boy. My I, boy, Jose Garcia, said quality real. time in let's the bedroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That one was smooth. <laughs> he said straight to the Hey, what if he just laid... true. It can't be boring. That was good. What if he's just laying good. down trying to watch a movie with his wife? That was good. Uh, yeah, exactly. That was good. Mal pensados. <laughs> Mal pensados. Nah, that was good. That was good. You know what I mean? Pin that comment. He went straight to the point. Look, look, look. It's this, como, dije, como dijo mi compa Jorge, si no hay pleito, no hay reconciliación. Tiene que haber pleito en la relación para que se reconcile uno. Look, if, I think we asked this on the chat the other day too on TikTok Live. How important is being compatible with your partner in the bed? Oh, it's it's important, but I it's think that's one of those it can't be boring. Like, boring. like, bro, you, can, yeah, you just can't be boring. Not for y'all. Is it like at the top of the list? What? Physical touch. That yeah. part. Yeah. yeah. That like, part. like say, is like it? say, <laughs> is physical Look, touch at you're, the top of the list or towards the you're, bottom? You're right having in the middle. You're having fun. They make you laugh. You guys are going out. They make you feel special. They make you get out of your uh, masculine era. But the one thing they lack. Was in that one specific thing in the bed. <laughs> is that a deal breaker? I mean, it's it's a deal breaker, I but it's still it's a necessity. Valid, I think it's a valid deal breaker. Okay, I think it it is very important. You know, a cada quien va a ser diferente, but I think if it really like affects you, it, and if for whatever reason everything else is great except that, then that's valid. Walk away. 
Yeah. Like, I am not going to judge you for walking away just because of that. Like, no. Mm -hmm. A relationship consists of a lot of different parts. And that's one of them. So, sorry, Charlie. That's sorry, Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. Who's Charlie? Sorry, Charlie. Who's, Charlie? Who's, Who's Charlie? Charlie? Who's Charlie? Who's Charlie? <laughs> Ike, we miss you too, brother. Ike. Someone said practice makes perfect. Yes, sir. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> it does. You know, that is and we, we get the two know? days from football. That we got Hell Week. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría. We got summer camp, fall camp. Eh, Macarena. What'd you say, Jack? I said, dale a tu cuerpo alegría. Mira. See? <laughs> uh, Macarena. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's true. It's just people yeah. always like like to push and diminish like a physical act or physical touch. Like that's not important, dude. We're human. Like we're human, and yeah, physical, we need physical touch. Physical but... touch, physical language yeah. is part of our human nature. Yeah. Aunque no te guste, aunque no lo quieras, that's it my, is what it is. And if you language. say it's not, you're lying. Physical you know? touch and then acts of service. It just flips off, flip flops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes some... just don't even. Touch me, like don't be. It's like I don't want to be near you today. Exactly, yeah. go away. No, yeah, like, no, it's a. It's def- very important. Yeah, there's very there's valid. many uh, columns to a relationship where you kind of just have to, you know, kind of make sure that everything checks out. And there's some. I feel like there's some things that you can work on with your partner, mm-hmm. and you can you know work on it together if you're willing to. But si uno no quiere. You have to pick your battles, and if that's one of the battles you're willing to, you know, fight for, it's the then I'm dying on. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying on that hill. <laughs> <laughs> Not the same, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a valid, it's valid. All right, so this is deep question, right? Deep question deep on this question. One. Yeah, because we're halfway through, and I want to end this on this on okay, a good okay. question, so we okay. can get into the team bonding. Oh, all right, we all need right, a team bonding. Right, team fighting. Right. Right. Team <laughs> fighting for sure. Team, bro. <laughs> what is your safe space and how did you how did you get there? Is there a place? Is there a person? What is your safe space where you can be yourself? You can forget about everything in the world. And how did you find this place? It was a person, but now it's just more of, of uh, the emptiness in my in my room. Dang. Cue the sad music. Dang. Okay, well, <laughs> What's that song? I think. Wow. Dude, nah, that, <laughs> oh, somebody says that, one, that one's terrible. But no, yeah, like, now it's just more so, like, whatever fills that void, like, is it a cliche as it is, the gym, or even just sleeping, resting. <laughs> why, why is the gym your safe space? Because I feel like I can just be myself and just focus on that one thing right there and there. Like, I could just, fo- like, I don't have to think about it. It just comes naturally. Like, it's just an expression coming out of me. When did you fall in love with the with the gym? Uh, probably, like, I don't know. I think it was just something I always did just for sports. And yeah. it just eventually came into, the, like, that, oh, like, I just feel better inside the gym than just being outside of dealing with all the problems. I have to second that. I think any fitness-related stuff is my safe space. Um, it took a while to love and to learn to love, but I've gotten into a cheap routine where if I don't do it, like my mind is everywhere, and yeah. I feel bad. My mind is foggy. I am not the person that I know I can be without working out. As simple as it sounds, but like it yeah. has like such a big impact. Right? Yeah. yeah, and after I'm done, I feel so much better. I feel better mm-hmm. um, yeah. physically and emotionally. It's like a mental. It clears my mind. And that for me is my my safe space. Yeah. Pepe, I third that. I mean, maybe not the gym, but it's just being outside <laughs> walking. Yeah, like I go on a walk what five six days out of the week, yeah. and just being out there just helps me deal with everything going on in my mind like it's my yeah. safe place it's like it's the place where i'm just like everything goes away mm-hmm. for a couple minutes i put a podcast i listen to music and just walk literally just walk don't think about anything else other than like yo what i'm doing it's like five yeah. six miles today all right great i am i'm this like i got three more miles to go yeah. that's all i think about that's all i worry for like an hour and a half two hours Oh. And you feel so much better afterwards. You feel better, yeah. just mentally at peace. Like nothing else matters. Mm-hmm. The time that I'm doing it, mm-hmm. especially so those why. nature walks. 
those nature, nature strolls. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why I go. No, <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, the when we were in Washington D.C. when we went to the to the park, yeah, yeah, and we're like peaceful. all the all the trees around us and all the benches. I'm like, what yeah. about you, Disc? Um, my safe space and how I came to it was definitely the gym. It was the one place where I didn't need to think about all the problems, relationships, friends, family, the losses of people. So the gym was the one place where I can better myself. I can be emotional. I can be under the weights. I can face myself as much as I didn't want to for the longest time. It's the one space where I knew by the time I walk out of it, I was going to be a better person, whether it was by a long shot or just 1%, 1% better. Yep. It, it was showing up. If no one's going to make you go to the gym, no one's going to make you lift those weights, it's you. It's you versus you. What better way to face your demons and your fears by facing yourself? Where does that happen? In the gym. And the gym just caused everything. Mm -hmm. It caused me peace. I meditate. I'm able to just let go, let me be myself. And for the one hour to two hours that I'm in there, everything gets quiet. Find, whether it's in the gym or somewhere else, Find that one place where you can s let your mind be free. Don't think about all the problems, everybody around there. Worry about yourself. So, man, this has been an um, amazing podcast. It has. It's been an amazing, fun, interesting podcast, <laughs> definitely, to say the least. A little wild. Episode 165, definitely in the, in the books. In the book, in the yeah. books. Oh, we gotta be sweaty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little warm in here. It's like, damn, turn on the AC, my boy. Know, Do the bill, <laughs> the bill. <laughs> that lighting, okay. though. That Just lighting. It's the light. It's the lighting. It's the lighting. It's the lighting. It's the lighting. Yeah, because it was. And you get the power. Say, si, not toco to Calvin <laughs> Klein. <laughs> oh, he got money. A large, a large. Tell me, you know where that's from. Oh, Never mind. We're done with this freaking podcast. <laughs> Have you been listening to this? Everybody on TikTok Live. Appreciate every single one of you guys. We got to 18,000 likes on this TikTok Live. 19, 19. 19,000 likes on this 19, TikTok Live. Thank you all. Dang. For an hour and 20 minute podcast. Nice. I love that for you. I love it for us. It for, for us. For us. Yay. If you have a dream, keep it going. If you have a vision, keep fighting for it. I was going to say, damn, relax, Martin Luther King. <laughs> have a dream. And just like that. Con amigos así, ¿para qué quieres ser amigos? Y con eso, saluda la vida. Vámonos recio. Let's go. Show.